I think you, you're you going to need a few because yeah. there's just going to be so many. But the one situation that we really need to monitor, and this game is not until 10 o'clock, is the Sacramento Kings. Um, Tyrese Halliburton is still questionable, so we already know Darren Fox is out, Alex Lyon is out, Rashawn Holmes is out. There's The Kings are very shorthanded. Um, but if Halliburton sits, then Damian Mitchell is almost unfatable at 3,600. And then Buddy Heald gets super interesting at 5,100. So I'll give those two guys as the value to build around if Halliburton is out. I mean, we could see both of them playing 40 plus minutes just because the team is so shorthanded. So I like both of those guys on Sacramento a lot. And that's just a team to keep an eye on throughout the day. Okay, Nick, who would you consider building around uh, in the value play department? I think Buddy Heald is a great call at 5.1K. Even if Halliburton plays, I still think you're going, he's going to get a lot of opportunities tonight with De'Aaron Fox, doubt, doubtful at this point. And of course, plenty of other guys out. Um, I mentioned the centers. Of course, Steven Adams in that game. He has He's in an advantageous position. And then DeMarcus Cousins as well. You'll get Jordan Noara um, over in that Bucks game as well. I think he's a super saver at 3.3K. Uh, to me, though, another one that, that kind of could fly under the radar, too, is the Heat because they have no Jimmy Butler, no Bam Adebayo. Duncan Robinson at 4.7K played 39 minutes last game, turned great value, and he's going up against a Magic team. That, However you want to look at Duncan Robinson as a shooting guard or a small forward, the, the Magic have not done well against either position this season and from a fantasy perspective. Uh, they've given up the most DK fantasy points to shooting guards and the seventh most to opposing small forwards this season.